Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this problem we want to use the law of conservation of energy to find the kinetic energy at point two in the diagram. Alright, before uh, solving the problem let's go over the law of conservation of energy and the equation and the terminology associated with the equation. The law of conservation of energy basi basically states that matter cannot be created nor destroyed. So uh, we have the ener initial energy equal to the final energy. So we got our kinetic energy plus our potential energy is equal to the final kinetic energy plus the final potential energy. So you can see here all the units for energy are, are joules. And here's the terminology and the working definitions for kinetic and potential energy. Feel free to stop the video and take any notes if you need to. All right, so back to our practice problem, and we have a, an object here at position one, and we have it rolls down to the bottom here. Let's say this is a hill, and we want to know how fast, or the kinetic energy uh, at the bottom of the hill. So we use our law of conservation of energy equation. It says Ke plus Pe equals Ke plus Pe. And a couple of things here about potential energy. Remember, potential energy, energy of position, at the higher point it will have the most potential energy and at the lowest point it will have lower potential energy. If it's on the ground then height will be zero so the potential energy would be zero. When something's not moving at the top here the kinetic energy is zero uh, because the speed is zero. Remember the equation for kinetic energy is one-half mv squared. At the bottom the kinetic energy will be its highest since it will have its highest speed at the bottom of the hill. So let's plug in all our information here. Uh, we got zero for kinetic energy at the top. It's all potential energy. So here at point two, uh, we want to know the kinetic energy, so we leave that there. And it says that the potential energy is 100 joules. So we use a little bit of arithmetic, and we end up with uh, 200 minus 100, so the final kinetic energy is 100 joules. So if we were to go back and plug it in there, we got 200 equals 200. Uh, on the bottom here, also show a way of organizing data when you're solving a problem. Uh, sometimes that helps. But we put all our known values on the left side, and then our unknowns here, and then we go back and we plug them into the equation. But for simpler ones like this, you might not necessarily need a table to organize your data, but there's just a, a method to help you solve some of the more difficult ones.